The superior thread holder is an innovative notion designed for proper thread delivery for both spools and cones. Depending on the way thread is wound, there is a specific way thread should unwind from cones and spools. A stack wound thread is wound from the bottom to the top and it is meant to come off the spool in the same manner. See from our ribbon example how the thread unwinds as it should from off the side. When a stack wound spool is unwound, end over end, there is extra twist added to the thread with each revolution. Most cones are cross wound and are meant to unwind from bottom to top. If a cone is unwound from off the side, there is a lot of extra tension and drag which increases the likelihood of breakage and bad stitches. Since many home machines do not have vertical spool holders, we created the superior thread holder. To use your thread holder with spools, unscrew the pin from the base and screw it into the front facing threaded hole. Don't over tighten, it just needs to be snug. Once the pin is screwed in, load your spool and place the spool cap on. Leave a little gap between the spool and the spool cap. For machines on a flat surface, place the thread holder to the right of your machine. Load your thread spool, followed by the spool cap. Thread through the top hole and swing arm. And then thread your machine like normal, and you're ready to sew. For sewing machines, set down in a cabinet or table. Place the thread holder behind your machine. Load your thread spool, followed by the spool cap, leaving a small gap between the two. Thread through the top hole and swing arm, and thread your machine normally. You're ready to sew! Set the cone adapter onto the pin and leave about one inch of space from the bottom. If your machine is on a flat surface, place the superior thread holder to the right of your machine. Thread through the top pole and the swing arm. And then thread your machine like normal. You're ready to sew! If your machine is set down into a sewing cabinet or table, place the superior thread holder behind your machine and bring the swing arm to rest right above the top of your machine. Thread like normal. You're ready to sew! Insert the bobbin pin adapter into the bottom hole on the back face. Place your bobbin onto the pin and take directly up to the swing arm. Thread like normal and you're ready to sew.